welcome to Keystone Powerhouse Ministries. I'm Pastor Mike, and we invite you to join with us in word and song momentarily. Uh, it's good to be back with everybody uh, today. Last week we um, visited another place and, and helped uh, minister in Holden, Missouri. So uh, we appreciate being uh, back in, in the house today. And we're going to open up in a word of prayer. So if you would, just bow your head with me. And if you have uh, any needs, let's just bring those before the Lord at this time also. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, that we have this time to gather into this place, Lord, in a time of worship. Yes, and Jesus. Lord, we just invite you into Lord, our midst, into this service today. God, we just thank you, Lord. There, You said where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there with us. And Lord, we just thank you for being here with us, for meeting with us. We thank you for what you're going to do in our midst today, God. And we pray, Lord, that you would just speak to us, minister to us, let us minister to you. And, Lord, if there's anyone that has a need, Lord, whether it's physical, uh, mental, spiritual, financial, Lord, I pray that that need would be met in Jesus' name this day. Amen. 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 We're going to uh, sing a few hymns here <clears throat> before we get into the word. Um Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Let's see, page 82 in our hymnal. In three, two. Okay. Is that the right key? She's in three flats or F. She'd be real high. What a fellowship Oh 
kind of attitude, we will not be denied. We won't be defeated. We won't listen to the enemy, but we're going to listen to the good shepherd. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, okay, let's uh, sing. Uh, was it 32 we were singing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's try G. When the roll is called up yonder. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. just close our eyes in the time of worship and meditation on, on him. Father, we just praise you. Yes, we glorify yes. you, Lord. Praise God, we thank you for this praise life that you've Jesus. given us, Lord. We thank you for the air that we breathe. Lord, we thank you for the sunshine that we can see thank through our you, day, Lord. God, we just thank you, Lord, for being so good to us, Lord, the love that you've given to us. And how you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son. Yes, Lord. Lord we just yes, thank you for God. Jesus. We thank you for Jesus. We thank, thank you for Jesus. the Holy Ghost that dwells with us now, Lord. He doesn't leave us. He'll never leave us. But he's right there within us, Lord. And we yes, just thank God. you for the yes. Holy Ghost. God, we thank you, Lord, for your mercy that you show to us day yes, by day. Jesus. The grace that you give us, Lord, to let us walk in your ways, Lord. God, we just thank you, Lord. You are so good. You are so good. You are awesome. You are excellent, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God.
sanctuary today. spirit upon us and within us, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, yes Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, you, thank, you, thank, you. thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
serpent's bite will not harm you, for the venom has been nullified, and it will have no effect on you. The poison will not touch you. Though you may be bit, harm will not come. Just as I said in my word that troublesome times shall come and will be in the earth, but don't fear, because I've overcome this world. So do not fear. When the serpent comes, do not, do not fear when the waves rise above your head, for you are under my wing. You are protected, and I am keeping you safe. I have you in the palm of my hand, and none can pluck you out. My wings cover over you, for you have made your dwelling place in the shadow of the Most High. So therefore, I am covering you with my wings. You shall not be harmed, you shall not be fearful, and you shall not be dreadful, but thou shalt be cheerful and go forth in joy, because it is the joy of the Lord that gives you strength. So go forth in my joy, yes, and you will find strength to do those things which I have called you to do. Go yes, forth God. in my joy, and my strength shall come upon you, and you'll do mighty exploits for me, saith the Lord. I will be in control, and I will guide you, and I will show you these things. So fear not when the ocean's waves come, or when the serpents come crawling around. Fear not, for I have you under my wing, and I have you in the palm of my hand. Yeah. Did I not give my life for you on that cross at Calvary? Yea, I did, and I shed my blood for you, for your healing, and for your redemption. And I have bought you with a price, with the high price of my blood, have I purchased you, and you are mine. So fear not, fear not, fear not, for I am in charge this day of what is going on. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Yes. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you Lord. Yes. We rest assured in your word, Lord. Good work, God. Good oh, work, Lord, you Jesus. are, you are, Hallelujah. you are all You're in, in all, Lord. Hallelujah. You are in charge. <laughs> Praise yes. God. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. 
Yes, the enemy runs rampant, says the Lord. The enemy runs to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. But yea, I have defeated the enemy. Why do you fear a defeated foe? Why do you still look and fear a defeated foe? Do not listen to the naysayers. Do not listen to those who believe in the foe, for they are lost. They are the ones with the moat in their eye. They cannot lead. Do not follow them. Do not listen to them, but listen to my word. Yes. Get into my word, Hallelujah. and you will find the truth. Thank you, Jesus. And Amen. my spirit will show you those things and will bring to your Amen. remembrance those yes. things which I have commanded you. Yes. Listen to my word. Be obedient to my word. Things that you see going on around you are not new. They have been around for many, many, many years. They are not new. Even though some things may seem new to you, they are not new to me. And I have overcome them. And my church has always overcome them. Thank you, Jesus. Because my church is a victorious church. My church will overcome anything that the enemy brings against it. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. For the gates of hell will never prevail against my church. Amen. Hallelujah. For it is there for the kingdom's sake and for the purpose of building the kingdom is my church established in this earth. Yes. My true church will overcome anything that the enemy brings against it. For I am in my church. Praise God. Praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Praise the Lord of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you, God.
watches over his word. He'll perform it. Don't be a doubter or fearful, but believe. Believe that victory, oh, victory, victory today is ours. have assembled the angels have assembled to look upon what is here this day thank you thank you what is that sound it's my spirit <coughs> my spirit mighty in battle Going forth to conquer the enemy. Praise God. Praise God. There shall be such a whirlwind of my spirit. Yes. And it will blindside the enemy. The foe will not see it coming. Yeah. For he has deceived my people. He's deceived my even my elect has been deceived at times. For yea, saith the Lord, my spirit, <laughs> you, my spirit has raised up a standard against him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hear the banner. Hear the banner wave in the wind. Hear it flapping. For it goes forth 
and it leads and the troops into this battle. <laughs> and my heavenly host is going forth into this battle to defeat the enemy and to show them that my church is victorious. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. We worship you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, the degree has been heard through the corridors of the spirit realm. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, I see the fo I see the enemy. Yes, I see them assembled as one, but yea, they are fleeing for the corridors. Echo. They echo the command of the Lord. And they flee seven ways. By the sound of my voice, the enemy does tremble. Yes, give voice to my word, saith the Lord thy God. Give voice to my word. Keep it not silent, but keep it upon your lips and in your mouth that it proceed forth with your voice speaking my word and you will see the enemy tremble before you. Yes. yes, the enemy has sought to sift this nation, to bring this nation to its knees. But yea, how he wants it brought to their knees, they shall be to their knees in prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. They will not be on their knees in defeat, but they will be on their knees in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I have put my hand upon this nation. This nation will not be defeated by the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy has ramped up his attacks and released more devastation through this nation, even in recent times. But he has no plan. He has no plan but to destroy. I, however, know the end from the beginning. Amen. And I have seen this time from afar off. And I have a plan. Thank you, and I know what the ending shall be. For I am all-knowing. The enemy is not. He works day by day. But I know the end from the beginning. And I will laugh at his calamity. <clears throat> yea, I will laugh at his calamity. For what a fool he was to think to be equal with me. Uh, amen. Mm -hmm. amen. What a foolish thought came to his mind the day he thought he could be my equal. He is nothing in my presence. The only power he has is the power that you give him to have over you. But the enemy has nothing in me. Take on the mind of Christ, and you will see these things the way that I see these things. 
and you will believe these things which I tell you this day. For I speak the truth, and I lie not, and my spirit will bear witness of these words within you, that they are true. For I am not man that I should lie. I need not lie. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to prove. I am the Almighty, the Alpha, and the Omega. I need not prove myself to anyone. But I do because of my love for you. Believe my word give voice to my word and see my word come forth <coughs> hallelujah Thank you. praise, praise the lord Thank you, Jesus. hallelujah Psalms 91 and 92. Read them both and study what they say. But I really feel like I need to read Romans 8. And I'm going to read it from the life or the New Living Translation, starting with verse 1. So now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Yeah. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. Yes. The law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. So God did what the law could not do. He sent his son in a body like the body we sinners have. And in that body, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving us his son as a sacrifice for our sins. Yes. He did this so that just the just requirement of the law would be fully sat satisfied for us who no longer follow our sinful nature, but instead follow the spirit. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. For the sinful nature is always hostile to God. It never did obey God's laws, and it never will. That's why those who are still under the control of the sinful nature can never please God. But you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the Spirit. If you have the Spirit of God living in you, remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to Him at all. And Christ lives within you. So even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have been made right with God. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead. This is where I, I want you to really pay attention. The Spirit of God mm -hmm. who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Hallelujah. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead... He will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living within you. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. Hallelujah. That means to fear, to doubt, uh, yeah. to not good. listen to God's word. Good. 
to not obey God's word, to not get into it. And when he speaks, his sheep know his voice. Yes. That's what his spirit gives us. So we know not to listen to the enemy, not to listen to what the enemy says, not to fear, not to doubt, because that's what our sinful nature wants to do, because it wants to run away from what God's word actually says. Right. And God says that we, he, had, he told us today that, yes, we might be bitten, but we will not, we will not suffer, and we will not have that venom, that venom come in our bodies, and destroy us. We Hallelujah. will not be destroyed as long as we listen to the Spirit and get into His Word. His Word is what sets us free. His Word is what gives us direction. His Word is what tells us how to do things and what to do and what not to do when we listen and we read His Word. And when we do that, we understand things of the Spirit that we've never understood before. And God will give you that understanding through his spirit. Yes. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. Listen and think about that for a minute. Right. He dwells in you. He mm. empowers you. Yeah. You don't have wow. to be fearful. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to... To even give into what the temptations of what the world is trying to tell you to do, because the spirit is greater than that. He that is in the he's greater than the things that are in this world and who is in this world. Yes. Therefore, brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. Mm -hmm. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. But if though, if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of it, your sinful nature you will live. For all who have, who for all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Yes. Instead, you received God's Spirit when He adopted you as His own children. Mm -hmm. Now we call Him Abba, yes. Father. For his spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. Yes. And since we are his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. Mm. But if we are to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Yet we have we suffer now, it yet. What we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. Hallelujah. So all creation is waiting eagerly for the future day yeah. when God will reveal who his children really yeah. are. <laughs> Against its will, all creation will sub be, was subjected to God's curse, but with eager hope. The creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in the glorious freedom and death and decay. Mm -hmm. We know that all creation has been groaning as it's the pains of childbirth right up to its present time. Yes. And we believers also groan even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory for we long for our bodies to be released from the sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. We are given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, don't we don't need it we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something we don't have yet, we must wait patiently and confidentially. This is our victory in Christ. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father knows all hearts, knows what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good for those who, who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. 
God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn <coughs> and the many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to him, and having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having give, given them right standing, he gave them his glory. We don't have to live in fear and doubt because we have his glory. His glory is in us. Even though things around us look bleak, no matter what the circumstance is or, or whatever Satan tries to throw across to us to get us crossways, to make us feel like we're lonely, to make us feel like we're desperate and destitute. We don't have, when we receive Christ and we obey him and we get into his word, he shows us what it is. He has given us his glory so we that we won't suffer. He'll keep his hand on us. Mm, it's hard to comprehend. It is. But when you get into the word, and when you just pray in the Spirit, and you let the Spirit lead and guide you, He will show you what to do and how to do it. He'll help you when you start feeling depressed, and when you start feeling like the world is, is closing in, and there's no hope in our economy or whatever in our government. When you start praying, and you start believing what God says, your outtake, your intake and outtake is totally different. Right. Because then you start believing God's word and what he says, and there is hope. Amen. God is hope. Yeah. We shall say about such wonderful things as this, these. If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did spare even his own son, but gave him up for all of us, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? For no one for God himself has given us right standing within himself. We have right standing within him. Do you understand the power that that is? We do. I don't think we do either, and I don't think that we. I don't think we could comprehend. But when you total. think, about, yes, and but when you think about it, and when you concentrate on His Word, that we have. God Himself has given us right standing within Him. He has given us the power to overcome everything. There is nothing that cannot be overcome through him. So we can stand up in the enemy's face and we can say, Satan, you cannot have this nation. Amen. Satan, you cannot have Israel. You right. cannot destroy Israel. You cannot destroy this nation of God. For God has put in his hand upon this nation. And he has told us. His hands off. Him. And you get in Satan's face and you tell him where to go. Because you have authority over him right. and the enemy. Amen. Who then shall condemn us? No one for Christ. Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us and is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand pleading for us. He's always on our side. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he who no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or pers persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scripture says, for you, your sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No desperate, all these things, overwhelming victory is ours. Christ who loved us. Amen. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, neither life, neither angels or demons, 
Neither their fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing all creation will ever be able to separate from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. We have the power in Christ. When we establish his kingdom here on earth, we allow him to be lordship of, of us. We have the authority to speak to the governments. We have the authority to speak over lands. We have the authority to speak over nations. Because nothing, nothing can separate us. And he has given us power and dominion from the very get-go. Even before Adam and Eve were even created, he had given us power and dominion over this earth. He has given us power and dominion over every situation. And when you get in unity and you get in... Um, Unity with the Spirit, you are a mighty, mighty force yes. against the enemy. Yes. Amen. When we were singing and praising, and when we were saying victory, yes. I seen a huge, 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 huge area. It was like this room was so big, the enemy was coming in through the doors. And it was like the governments of around the world were there. It was like the world. And when we started saying victory, victory, and when Mike had heard, heard the angels marching toward the enemy, marching toward in battle, and when we started saying victory, and the angels gathered around, and then in this room, when we reached this room, and when Mike had said he's seen the enemy scatter seven, several, seven different ways, yes. the, it was like a coliseum. This, these columns were there, and the enemy could not even run fast enough out of this room. They were so confused, Amen. and they were being so tormented by our victory that they were running into columns. They were running into each other, and they were running as fast and as hard as they could to get away from us. Hallelujah. Understand your authority that you have through Christ Glory. that God has given you. Yes. And when the body of Christ comes together, And instead of fighting against each other, and instead of saying, oh, but this is the only way that you can do this and this, no, open your eyes to his word, what it really says, and open your eyes to his authority and, and, and to come together in unity under Christ. Know that the enemy is defeated and it can't stay. It has to go. It has to flee. Thank you. One of the seven ways that they're running is related to the seven mountains that Johnny Enlow teaches on. So all the bases were covered that they were running from. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Well, um, if you're not convinced now, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. But if you've never received Christ as your Lord, just bow your head with me right now. 
and you, if you'd like to, if you'd like to spend eternity in heaven and not in hell, pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I Heavenly thank you Father, for sending thank Jesus you. to Jesus. die in my place. Die in my I thank place. you for the stripes that he took upon his back and the blood that he shed. Lord, those stripes were there for my healing and his blood was shed for uh, the remission of my sins. And I thank you for giving him as the the last sacrifice ever yes, needed God. to appease the living God. I thank you for thank giving you. your son in my place that I could be yes. redeemed. Lord, he ransomed me back to you, and I receive yes. you now as my Lord and my Savior. <clears throat> I ask that you just save me with every every facet of salvation lord make it known to me and lord i pray that uh, you would forgive me of all my sin yes. lord and i believe in my heart that god raised jesus from the dead and now i can confess that jesus is my lord and my savior i confess that with my mouth and your word says that i am saved for i have done what you require and Lord, I just praise you, and I ask you, Lord, to now that you've given me salvation, Lord, you've made a deposit of your Holy Spirit within me, I ask you that you baptize, Lord, my spirit with your Holy Spirit and with fire, that I could walk in the ways of the Holy Ghost, Lord, that I could do what the Holy Ghost tells me to do and be reminded when he tells me of what you've commanded me, and Lord, that I could speak in my unknown tongue, Lord, the tongue that would only be known to you. And Lord, that I could interpret what it is that the Holy Spirit says through me. And Lord, I just thank you for saving me, and I thank you for the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, we've had kind of a, uh, maybe some would say a little different type of service. <laughs> Um, it's good, though. but you know it's all right. You, you know we're, you know when people first start watching the videos, they may say, "Oh, there's that church. They just do all those old hymns and you know things like that." But <laughs> I tell you what, I have nothing against old hymns, and I have nothing against new songs. I like them all. It's just in this setting right now, it's a little bit. Uh, simpler for us to use the hymn books and such, but when when we get our building, we'll have our overhead projector and we'll have other other types of music. But um, Amen. And we're we're looking. We're needing a building. Um, God is, God revealed to me today that there are people that um, are supposed to be here. They're not here. There's people that's going to be coming back. They used to be with us. There's people that's going to be flocking in. And there's going to be even many, many more uh, new faces that I've never met before, but will be meeting. And um, so we're, we're looking for that facility. We are definitely keeping our eyes and ears open um, and waiting on the Lord to bring us to that. So keep that in your prayers, if you would, with us, uh, that we find that place. Um, I had, um, well... We can always preach that another time. I think God said what he wanted to say today. I'm not going to add anything else to what the Lord said. So uh, with that, I appreciate you guys. Um, there will be information in the description of how to uh, send your uh, tithe and offering. Uh, please do that. Be obedient. It's not that we need your money. <laughs> we've, got, we've got lots of money in the bank account, so I'm not worried about money. But you need to do these things in obedience. You need the blessing. Um, you know, when you sow a seed, the seed will grow. And that's, that's the whole intent on giving. So um, sow your seed. Amen. Give your tithe. Give your offering like the word commands. And you'll be blessed for it. Amen. That's, that's the only place uh, that the, the Bible tells us when we give, when we give, the Lord rebukes the devourer for our sakes. Amen? That's what has the blessing tied to it, is in your giving, in your offerings. 
So do that. I know I don't preach on it much, and we haven't had an offering message <laughs> for quite a while, but I feel an unction to just tell you, send your tithe, send your offering. In fact, better yet, bring your tithe and bring your offering to this place. Amen. That would be better than mailing it in, is for you to be here in person. Amen. And each and every one of you are invited. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there was any other announcements. Like I said, last week, uh, Sister Audra and I uh, participated in a service down in uh, Holden, Missouri. Wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, place down there. The Lyric Church is what it's called. Uh, wonderful pastors, amen, and they're doing a mighty work down there in Holden. So uh, keep them in your prayers if you would. Also, um, God's doing mighty things down there in Holden, Missouri. Amen. And he's doing mighty things here, and he's doing mighty things in your life. I believe that with everything in me. So uh, until next time, amen, I'm Pastor Mike. I want you to know I love you, God loves you, and Jesus is Lord. Amen.